Modern analytics repositories are multimodal, meaning they often involve both a data lake, where large historical data sets can be provisioned for later use, and data warehouses, where data can be rapidly transformed for analytics dashboards and self-service reporting. The Click Data Integration Platform gives you the ability to build either or both using a single tool set, Click Compose. Using Click Compose, I will demonstrate how simple it is to build a cloud-based data warehouse in Google BigQuery that can provide data updates in near real time with a fraction of the time and effort needed to build a warehouse with traditional ETL tools. The first step is to move the data from our source systems to the Google BigQuery landing area and keep changes moving to the data warehouse in near real time. For that, we use Click Replicate, our industry-leading change data capture solution. Connections to both our relational source system and our BigQuery data warehouse landing area have been defined already. We have also defined a Click Replicate task to move the data to the warehouse landing area and keep it updated. As we see in the monitor, the initial load has taken place and the Click Replicate task is ready to process changes from the source system. Let's use the Google BigQuery Viewer to see the tables Click Replicate created in the warehouse landing area. We see base tables created by the full load, as well as change tables created by the Click Replicate Store Changes option. These change tables will allow Click Compose to skip a time-consuming delta detection step, allowing for faster change data ingestion. We've moved into Click Compose, where we will define our automated data warehouse on Google BigQuery. The project presents the developer with four panels that drive the data warehouse automation. In the first panel, we define the connection where Click Compose will deploy the BigQuery warehouse, as well as the many sources that can be integrated into the warehouse. These sources can come from tasks deployed on multiple Replicate servers across your organization. In the Model tab, we see the first iteration data model has already been built. The automation has created the data warehouse tables, mappings, and transformation code that support loading and validating the data. In the Data Warehouse tab, full load and CDC ETL tasks have been created. Each task creates pre-built mappings that can be modified, as well as places to put custom code before or after the mappings. A preloading ETL step has been added recently. In the Sales Order Details mapping, a transformation has been defined for calculating revenue. All the code to load the warehouse layer is generated automatically. Steps are in dependency order, and items that will be run in parallel share a process step. Click Compose executes this code using an ELT paradigm, where the code is executed in BigQuery, leveraging its power and scalability to maximize performance. Let's use the Google BigQuery Viewer once again to see the tables Click Compose created in the warehouse layer. With the initial data warehouse defined, we are ready to build our first data mart. Data marts allow us to automatically transform the data, stored one time in the warehouse layer, to different analyses in the mart layer. Click Compose provides a wizard to make mart creation simple. Simply provide a name for the data mart and select the facts to include. Click Compose will determine the dimensionality based on the model. Next, select a time dimension and a transaction date for the fact. And we have the definition of a data mart. We can edit the fact itself and add additional calculations called metrics. In this case, we'll add a metric called days late to the fact. And with that, we'll track shipments to determine when we ship things late. We'll use a case statement to define the calculation and test it in the expression builder. Now we generate the ETL necessary to flatten the normalized tables of the data warehouse into a denormalized star schema data mart. All the code to accomplish this is generated automatically by Click Compose and available for review. It was just that easy to define a model, build the ETL necessary to load and validate the data, then put it in a star schema data mart that's ready for discovery and cataloging by our data catalog solution, as well as analytics ready for any business intelligence or analytics solution. Finally, we build a workflow to automate updates to the data warehouse and data mart layers of our data warehouse. Click Enterprise Manager enables our customers to manage all of their Click Replicate and Click Compose servers and tasks in a single interface that is secure, audited, and API accessible. 
For example, we see that the click replicate task in our pipeline has processed some changes to the BigQuery landing already. Let's use Click Enterprise Manager to execute the change data capture workflow to process changes we just reviewed. Click Enterprise Manager provides REST, .NET, and Python APIs in addition to the internal scheduler. You may also use a third-party scheduling tool. Click Compose is an agile solution as well as an automated one. Our developer is ready to add a new source of data that will bridge the gap between our ordering system and our customer relationship management system, so a more complete picture of our customers is reflected by our analytics. The new source could be added in the Click Compose GUI or by supplying metadata on the entities and attributes to the metadata import facility. With the metadata for these new entities imported, our developer can link the CRM customers to the ordering system customers and to the orders themselves. When the developer is ready to deploy the changes to the data warehouse, Click Compose will calculate the changes and implement them automatically. And the Click Compose cycle of iterative development continues from there, deploying the ETL, loading additional data, and providing new or modified data marts. I hope you enjoyed this brief demonstration of the highly automated Click Data Integration Platform and see how simple it is to create a cloud-based data warehouse on Google BigQuery using Click, and keep it hydrated with data from your source systems. Thank you.